Welcome everybody back for some more Tiberborn on the island map. As you can see, I've let the game run off camera and I've put in place all of the wind turbines and they are functioning and powering this huge line up of, I don't know what they're called, power shops. So, in today's episode, we're just going to jump straight into this and we're going to build up some of the construction area. So, first things first, we need something very important. Well, I say important. We need to put in probably four lumber mills and two gear workshops, just like that. And that should, in theory, allow us to do quite a lot of stuff. Now in the future we'll obviously expand this to be over here as well so we'll do a double plat like a, looks like a tube coming out of there but it's not really a tube is it? So we'll also put in a, a power wheel on the ends there just so that we don't run out of stuff and then we can also when all these are built in we'll obviously high prioritize all of those because they should get built relatively quickly and then we can start by building all of these there was once a time where stuff like this would take so long in episodes because i just wasn't sure what i was doing but now we can just do it and it's done so there's also some other things that we're going to do as well over here and that requires me deleting this path and pulling out a one of those in there and then we can put in some of these farms we need a grist mill uh, we'll do two of these. Also, I have just realized that it's not going to work because because of where the entrance to the grist mill is. It's like right on that corner. So I'm going to have to do a little turn like that. I prioritize that turn to just put one of the grist mills in. So we'll put in a grist mill there and another one there. That should allow us to do some change basically all of carrots into wheat so we can do some grist milling over here. Obviously eventually we'll upgrade to higher powered stuff as well. We're also going to unlock the paper mill and plonk in two of those. And then round the back here, put in a path, just like so. And then we'll build in some of these large warehouses like that. And then we'll put in the underground one in the center there. That's obviously going to take a lot of resources, but eventually that will all be built up and ready to go. So in between episodes, as you can probably see, I've put in a couple more homes, some more homes in here, just so that the beavers have a lot more stuff to do. Um, I'm actually going to start demolishing all of that, because that will give us a bunch more resources and stuff, and I'll get them all to Pick all of them up, because that's what they love doing. They just love doing that kind of stuff. Um, and then this will, this will still get built in over here. I think I might also make it slightly easier to get over there and just by putting in a little bit of a shortcut, and then we'll obviously prioritize that, just like so. Obviously, now all the beavers are in their little homes and all that stuff. So, next pro uh, next job on the priority list for today. I'm going to start doing the bridges. 
Now it's going to take a little while for me to do this because it's it's quite a difficult thing to do because it's going to result in a lot of just stuff like this. Um, I also need to start unlocking some of these double platforms and stuff, but we need science for that. And obviously all the science buildings are a minute a bit stuck. And I'm also going to pause like all of those at the moment. Just because we don't really need like planks and stuff at the moment. I'm also going to bring down the priority of some stuff. There we go. That should make it nice and easy to go ahead and do. So we've got seven beavers that don't have a job. We've got so much water coming in. We've got a thousand water. I think science is something that we need more than anything at the moment anyway so i was thinking about putting in one of those big science buildings that uses power i think it uses power i'm too sure yeah the observatory uses 200 power but i'm not sure we're currently at that state of wanting that to go in i will put in uh two and one of those gear workshops and then over here we'll do, we'll store gears in there, we'll store uh, the, I say paper in here, but I'm not seeing paper. We'll probably store gears and stuff in here, this one as well. Oh, right, there's paper. And then in this one we'll store planks, obviously, to get the plank storage out of the way. Now, obviously, this is taking up a lot of green space, and obviously we are now in a drought which means we need to pause some of those guys up and then we're also going to put in a bunch more scientists like so more temporary than anything else get them all prioritized up but they should be built pretty quickly because we need we need them now anyway, so that is fine. So I'm going to be back when everything is built and ready. Okay, so some of the buildings are now in. Most of the things are making us a lot of science at the moment. So we can probably start by unlocking some of these things along here. So can't quite yet unlock the double platform. Uh, the triple platforms, I mean, but that's not the end of the world. Which it kind of is, because we kind of need to get the triple platforms. They cost 200 science, shouldn't take too long for them to do. Um, I'm trying to watch all the water and stuff going in and out of the, world, of the map. We've got 200 science now, so let's continue with these. So I need to go up quite far with these. Actually, I need to go to there. And then put the stairs in. So, obviously this will also be pathed up as well. I'm 
getting lost already on like where it is. We need a triple and then a single. And then a triple, then a single. To get out there. Triple, move triple, single, triple, single. I'll do the um, do the stairs at another time. I'll do the paths, I mean, at a different time. Annoying because I want I want to be able to copy this as well. I just went double double, double double, equal double. Triple single. Then stairs, stairs, stairs. Double, double, triple, single. Stairs. Basically, that what that structure, all the way up until it gets to the same height is this, which I'm pretty sure it's not far off, but it can be slightly higher because we do have to get over there as well, which is sort of the big primary reason of why I'm doing this. So we're going to have one of these on this side of the map, and then another one on the other side of the map too. so that we can get all these in. So what I'll do is I'll build up the one... What was these for a start? What was these gross smells because we don't need them at the moment. What I'll do is I'll build up this one here and I'll build up the one that's going on over here as well and then I'll start putting in the bridges with you guys. And after not that long, we have ourselves our first walking up tower construction. We can also now unlock the 1x6 bridge, which nicely will fit right up there. And then obviously we do have the secondary one over here, and then this bridge will be going in that direction. So obviously this one's going to take a little while to make, but we can start progressing with this one here by going at the end off the bridge and hopefully building up in the right place. So it says it's six, so that's there. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So then we go uh, there. And then it's single, and then we can do and then I think we can put another one straight on top of this to go even further. And then we need to do that again. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So it was a couple of these and then a single on the top. And again, and you, you get the idea. It's a lot of just putting more and more together, hopefully. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. Hopefully we can miss the, uh, all the wind turbines. Mm, not quite. 
can say the knowledge all of that because then if we go because they can't go further in these so what we're gonna have to do is probably we have to do something temporary aren't we really mm, it's kind of annoying in fact it's not too bad we just need to demolish those two for now You can always put them back. Actually, we can't. We literally cannot put those back. To be fair, there's, there's quite a lot of power there anyway, so... It's probably... too much power anyway. Plus, it's way cooler to have this, like, long-ass bridge going across. Right, so that gets us to that bit there, which I think is a single. Uh, no, yes. And then we can just do a bit of that. So that now gets us to this side of the world where we get to that mine. And I'm going to obviously put in a huge gravity battery wall like we had in the previous series. And I'm also going to do the old, uh, do the old high prioritizing of uh, all of this construction, just because I think it will be cool to get it all in. Now this one is also done as well, so we can now start looking at where. You see, this one's going to be harder to do because we obviously need to get over the top of this. Um, so we need to go one, two, three, four, five, six. And I think it's that one there. Which means we then need to get rid of that and prioritize it to be moved. So I have just realized actually no, they'll 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 do that first because they won't be able they'll get this bridge these bridges in. And I'll start building those, but they will get this pretty quickly, I feel. So if I, uh, especially if I drop these. Drop them down to those. And this one is like the only high one that they can actually access there we go. to which we can then do this oh I've done the wrong I've done one too far great need that one there that one there please we can also start doing grist mill stuff so actually unpause these and get them to make wheat flour and then when they do all of this we can tell them to actually demolish all of that obviously we need to make sure that we've put in this tower in uh, which is now over the top of that one. And we can then prioritize that. I think that's where it is. Actually no, I think that we've made it past that. Oh no, definitely haven't. But yeah, that's it's gonna be really cool when all this stuff is in. Um, we just obviously need to Right, let's build it here. Like so, oh. mm. 
Well, I mean, suppose close enough, I guess. The reason why I've taken all the carrots away is because I'm going to put in some wheat. So that's that. That will do that nicely. Right, so now it will be... Um, I think it's like... There, but it will be a double. Yeah, I feel like this is a really good way of doing this because it's not a really conventional way of doing it either. Like that. I think it's really cool because then we're not using. We're using bridges, which I've never. Which I've never really used before. I think that now we're on this side. Probably not going to use. No, it'll work. Cool. Um, I'm not sure if it all. Oh, it's dead in it, so. I'm not sure if it will let me. I don't know. Cool. It's in the wrong. Wait, how how high is that? It's a lot higher than I thought it was. I think if I put a single there and then staircase that down like that, that will allow us to get up to here, which will then allow us to go ahead and start work on getting the dam across here in. And we can also start getting the dam across here in by adding another bridge in here. So I want to start using the bridges because, yeah, you can like double platform and all that stuff, but it's not it's not as fun, you know. Maybe I could staircase down and get over there, but I think that these will be a very interesting thing to be playing with, and it it adds that little extra bit of fun to it because. It means that we can't just scale up the side of the mountains and we've got to use the bridges. Um, I think I have kind of ruined it though because I think I can fix it um, in a minute, but I wanted to actually do the um, district centers, the what are they called? The district these things, the district crossings, and I wanted to do them up on the bridges, but I'm not too sure. Actually, I don't think that would have worked, would it? I don't know. Because they are like, they're quite big buildings, so I would have to, yeah, I'd have to do it right in the end, because you'd have to have like a four-way platform. It's doable, but annoying to do. So yeah, these will obviously get built up over time, but for a perspective of it, you'd have like these massive, great big bridges in, and then you'd be able to get over to these areas and then make the dams and stuff. So yeah, I think that'd be really cool. So the idea for this is to obviously have a way to get over to the islands, but we by staying on the islands, and then we could put district crossings on either side so that the bots are on the other side and only beavers are allowed on this island. I think that is a really cool way of doing this um, system. Um, I'm just going to quickly get them to plant some wheat down here. Or as, as much as they can. Because that will get these guys going as well. I think I also would like to get the gear workshops going as well. Just because it would be good to get some gears stored up. I suppose as soon as they get over this side of the bridge, 
um, we will be focusing on the bots because we want the bot factories to be up here. And then on this side, we're just going to focus on water bumpers and storage and stuff like that. I think it's going to be very interesting through the next couple of episodes, but I hope you guys did enjoy this episode, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.